guys, well we are in Hawaii right now, but on the way here we had a three hour wait when we changed planes at LAX, and that gave us a chance to check out the Delta Sky Club. And I have a load of footage of the lounge that I'm gonna show you in this video, so consider this a full review. And it's a meaningful time to talk about the Delta Sky Club because Amex just announced that they are cutting unlimited access two Sky Clubs from the Amex Platinum and the Delta Reserve cards. In the future, you're gonna be limited to a certain number of visits per year, six on the Amex Platinum, for example, unless you spend over $75,000 in a calendar year then you get unlimited access. But that isn't gonna start until 2025, so right now we have unlimited access like normal. So let's get into it. To get access to the Sky Club, we use two Amex Platinum cards, one for myself and one for my wife. Then we put the guest fees for our two kids on my Platinum card, that was $50 each, so $100, but that got refunded because I had chosen Delta as my airline for the Amex Platinum's $200 annual airline fee credit. And if you've selected an airline but you haven't used any of the credit yet and then you decide to go and fly a different airline, you can actually phone up and get it changed for you. Amex is very willing to do that as long as you haven't used any of the credit. But you can't say use $100 on American and then change to Delta and use another hundred on Delta, they won't do that. So going up the escalator into the Sky Club, you are met with a quite impressive entryway. And the first thing you see is this really stylish light. There are a load of sofas and armchairs, all of them are leather. You've got power outlets and USBs, and we sit down pretty close to the buffet. There's a good selection of both hot and cold food, and it's enough to really get a full meal. There's also a variety of drinks on offer, and there's an area where they have more standard restaurant style seating, but we actually chose to sit in the armchairs. When I explored the lounge, I found that there were a lot of different areas, like you've got this bar in the indoor area, and yes, I said indoor area, so that means there is an outdoor area, we'll get to that later. You have these little booths, presumably for doing work or making calls without background noise. I discovered this random little floral mosaiced alcove, which was pretty cool. And yes, there is an outdoor terrace that has more comfy seating areas, a full bar, and you can watch planes land. Another awesome feature of this lounge that I personally really hold dear is the shower suites. You type in your name on this screen and it texts you when it's your spot in line for the shower. In my case, I waited just three minutes. Then you walk down this stylish corridor into a beautiful shower suite that has everything you need for a lovely warm shower. Hey guys, well we are in the shower suite at the Sky Club at LAX and I must admit, I'm really impressed. This is beautiful. Uh, the shower is this really nice, nice marble. You got two shower heads, one above you fixed, and then one you can use to like wash, you know, take off and wash your body and stuff. A little toilet in here as well. You got a little shelf down here, and uh, then you got a separate area over here with the mirror. Beautiful mirror, and uh, yeah. So without further ado, I'm gonna take a shower. For me, having showers that are stylish and classy, have good products, and you don't have to wait an hour for is really important. I felt so refreshed after my shower, I was ready for another six hours in economy to get to Hawaii. In total, I would rate the Delta Sky Club the highest out of the big three airline lounges, okay, American, United, and Delta. In my view, American Airlines Admirals Club is definitely bottom of the pile. The clubs are outdated and old, even the ones that are renovated are actually very busy. And I remember when I visited the Admirals Club at LAX, I couldn't even get a full meal. There simply weren't enough food options available. United Clubs are a step up, in my opinion. They are stylish and they have good food options. But this experience at the Delta Sky Club really made me feel that Delta is the best in terms of airline lounges. Of course, some of that could depend on the time at which I visited the lounge. So, you know, don't take it as an exact science. Some of them could have been at busier times or whatever. But yeah, if you have a stopover at LAX and you're an Amex Platinum or Delta Reserve card holder and you're flying in economy, not basic economy because they don't get access, but yeah, if you're flying in economy, you will be able to get into the lounge with your credit card. But it is well worth it. We were there for at least two hours. 
everyone had a full meal, I had a shower, and I boarded my plane refreshed. Guys, please leave your comments and thoughts about the Delta Sky Club in the comments section below. If you're interested in the Amex Platinum, which gets you into the Delta Sky Club, I'll put my credit card guide down below. You can read a mini review of it there and click through and you'll find your way to an application link on our partner website, creditcards.com. And guys, if you use our links, it does really help out our show. We thank you very much if you do. However, do not feel obliged to do so. Please subscribe if you're new for more videos like this every couple of days. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.